Hi everyone, today we will be talking about chapter 10, light. Talk about properties of light. The first one is that light is a form of energy. Now, we are able to see an object only when the light rays coming from it enters our eyes. Like here, you can see over here that um, light comes from the light bulb and you can, you can simply draw an arrow and it reaches your eyes. Okay, however, you can actually see a light bulb in the mirror because the light to the mirror and it reflects from the mirror and goes to your eyes as well. In both cases, light would go from the light bulb, which is a source of light, into your eyes. The next property of light is that light travels in straight lines only. So, something like this. You place three cardboard pieces together and you put um, a hole in each cardboard. You would be able to send one stream of light from a light source through the cardboard to be seen by you. Light travels at an extremely fast speed. It's the fastest speed that is known in the universe. It travels at the speed of 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second in a vacuum. This is actually 300 million meters per second in a vacuum. The direction of light is the bouncing back of light that strikes a surface. So you can see over here, the light from a laser pointer hits a mirror and it will bounce out. Okay? And you can draw a line here, it's called the normal over here. The normal is the um, is, is exactly at right angles to the mirror and there's an angle, angle of incidence and also an angle of reflection. So um, we're going to talk about the two laws of reflection, the two types of reflection and the image formed by a mirror and ray diagrams and also more mirrors. So some terms related to reflection. This eye over here is known as the angle of incidence. Basically, the angle between the normal line and the incident ray. Notice that this is not the angle between the incident ray and the mirror. A lot of people uh, make the mistake writing the angle of incidence as this place between the incident ray and the mirror, when it should actually be between the normal and the incident ray. Now, R is known as the angle of reflection. And this is the angle between the normal and the reflected ray, this angle. Similarly, don't mistake it for this angle over here. The normal is a line that is perpendicular to the surface of the mirror. So if the surface of the mirror is straight like this, the normal to the mirror would be the line that is 90 degrees from the mirror. Let's talk about laws of reflection. The angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. This is the simplest formula that you will ever learn in our level physics. Light comes in at an angle to a reflecting surface. The angle of incidence will be equal to the angle of reflection, which means the angle at which the incident ray hits the surface will be exactly the same angle when it reflects out. I is equal to R. Incidence is equal to reflection. So if this was 30 degrees, this would also be 30 degrees. If this was 50 degrees, this would also be 50 degrees. They would just be the same. Now, the second law of reflection is that the incident ray, reflected ray, and normal at the point of incidence, they all lie on the same plane. What I mean by the same plane is that these three lines, the normal, the reflected, and the incident ray. If I were to put a flat plank of wood over here, I could draw on this plank of wood all three lines. That would mean on the, all the same plane. So now let's talk about different types of reflection. First one is called regular reflection, which is the basic one that you see in your mirror. Now you can see that when the incident rays come in parallel, they also reflect out parallel. Okay, so the characteristics are that light is reflected in one direction only. So for example, if you shine a laser pointer in, it will reflect out in a nice clean straight line. Okay, and this occurs on smooth surfaces such as a mirror or a still clear water surface, like a very clear, very still lake. The second kind of reflection is called a diffuse reflection. This one is when light comes in, in parallel. However, the surface is slightly rough. And you can see from here that the reflected rays are not parallel. So this would mean that if a nice straight beam of light, like a laser pointer shines over here, it would not reflect out as a nice straight beam of light. 
we would instead back out as a diffuse ray of light. The characteristics are that light is reflected through a range of different angles. It occurs on everything, all rough surfaces such as wall, your paper, or cloth. Basically anything that is not a perfectly smooth surface is actually producing diffuse reflection, including the screen in front of you perhaps. Um, your tables, your chairs, your arms. A little test. Which one re represents regular reflection and which one represents diffuse reflection? So, this one over here will represent a diffuse reflection. You can see that there is a nice uh, moon shape over here. However, because there is a uh, certain waves, there are a lot of waves on the surface of the water. Therefore, the reflection is not perfect. Therefore, you will see a little line like a bar thing over here where it would not be a clear reflection of the moon however this will represent a still lake okay and with a regular reflection when the light shines down onto the water it will reflect up straight into your eyes and make a perfect image this would be regular reflection